Hey, what is up? Dalton and Cloud here. Today we're going to be going over another CompTIA certification pathway. So this particular exam we're going to be going over is going to be the Cloud Essentials Plus certification, aka the CLO TAC002 certification. Uh, this is the second iteration of this exam. Um, and I'm going to make sure that you have all the resources that you need to help pass this exam. The only thing I ask is if you can please go ahead, click over here, click the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell so you can see more future videos like this one in the future. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, without further ado, let's get into today's video. First thing what we wanna go over is what is Cloud Essentials Plus? Who is it for? They're gonna go over this in the information below in CBT Nuggets, but we'll let them explain their version of it. We're gonna explain our version. So Cloud Essentials Plus is essentially gonna be very similar to its fundamentals or the uh, Azure fundamentals or AWS Cloud Practitioner counterparts. Where it's, this is going to be primarily for very, very basic information or mainly for people who are in a business and technical hybrid route. Someone like Project Plus or maybe you're in sales and you just need to know the ins and outs and what offers there are in cloud. So it's not going to be diving too deep into the nitty gritty. This particular exam or this particular course is taught by Bert or Bart Castle. He's an amazing content creator. Uh, he d he's given a lot of am other amazing cloud information going on the AWS route. I love his content. I, I, I If you don't know who Bart is, I'd go and I'd look him up on all the different socials. Again, CBT Nuggets, unlike other platforms, it's a flat rate, $60. It is going to be more on the high end. But if you're going in the cloud or networking route, I do suggest you look them up. They're very much a viable option. They have amazing information for you for that uh, flat rate. They have a lot of labs. They have standard practice exams. They have offline usage of their app. They have coachings available, quizzes, learning communities you can use together, and trainers that you could reach out to anytime you need help. Again, their content is going to be small bite-sized chunks of information, five to 15 minutes long. That's why this particular course has 88 videos of their 14 hours worth of content. I highly suggest them if you like learning in small segments of information, but try their free trial first. Next up, it's going to be our friends over at Pluralsight. I do love Pluralsight. They also always offer you a 10% off voucher. It's not listed here, but you still could use their voucher. You just have to look it up on one of their other exam preps, or you could look in our previous videos that uh, in, include that in the video description. The issue I have uh, now, note that this is still going to be a viable resource, but I'll just tell you my pain point for going with Pluralsight. With Pluralsight in particular, whenever you have multiple different instructors, you start to see an overlap of information on different courses and some information that may not be as necessary. If you have one or two instructors, it's usually fine. This particular exam for all four video overviews and subject overviews, they have a different instructor each. That's my particular issue with this. I have gone over a little bit of the video content. I do like some of the instructors on here, but then other ones have information that may be overlapping. So that's my pain point here for this particular video or this particular course overview. Next up is going to be Udemy. So we don't actually have a course in this subject. We have practice exams. I love me some practice exams and you should too. So this is going to be taught by the people over at Cyber IT Academy. This has five different ratings among their 25 students. So it is still newer. It's going to be harder to judge. Uh, we are just utilizing this resource because 
we have seen it mentioned on different subreddits and Facebook threads. As someone as a resource that has helped people pass this particular exam. Uh, this includes three different practice exams: 80 questions, 80 questions, and 48 questions, which gives us a total of 208 practice questions. Next up, we're going to go to the hit the books. So, in this particular uh, book, it's going to be a McGraw uh, book series. This is going to be taught by David or Daniel uh, Lachance. I always pronounce his name incorrectly. This is going to run you either $30 to $35, technically $26 to $35, because uh, you, you could buy it used. This is going to offer you 150 practice exam questions, as well as online content that you could utilize. Uh, for example, you get the ebook as well as uh, test engine with practice exams and quizzes uh, for each different chapter. And then just like on Pluralsight, you could save 10% off any CompTIA exam with a voucher included in this uh, book when you purchase it. So anywhere where you could get a certain percent off your exam, that's always going to be money back in your pocket and the resource is essentially going to pay for itself if you do end up taking the exam. Next up is going to be our friends over at A Cloud Guru. As you know, I love me some A Cloud Guru, and you should too. They are the best in the business when it comes to learning Linux or security or DevOps or cloud in general. They are the best in the business. This particular exam course is taught by Miss Tia Williams herself. So Tia Williams, she is a cloud architect or training architect over at ACG, and she is amazing. And I highly suggest you give her a follow and just see her amazing career and how she's progressed to where she is. Can't give that woman enough credit. Uh, this particular course has 10 hours worth of content, 41 lessons, and seven course quizzes included in here. I, I, I haven't gone over this. I don't even need to. I know this is going to be amazing content for you to utilize if you're going for this exam. I will go over it later because I do have a subscription to ACG. I'm, I don't even know. I don't think I'm ever going to cancel it. I got it at a discounted price. That's going to be my price for life. And I don't think I will ever get rid of it uh, because I have that discounted price. Uh, but you can get it. Uh, remember, Black Friday is just around the corner. So if you want to wait, you could wait. But if you want to do something right now, like get certified right now, I do suggest you sign up. They're $35 a month for their basic plan and then $47 a month for their personal premium plan. Um, personal Plus, which includes a real sandbox environment, meaning you'll never have to pay a certain amount of money because you forgot to turn off a certain resource in either Azure or uh, AWS. So that, that's some of the perks you have to having that personal plus with the sandbox cloud environments. And then we have our friends over at U-Certify. So I've gone over this before. I do have an issue with U-Certify in the sense that it's more expensive. We make these videos, or I make these videos, so that I could help you save money. But if you are paying $280, most of the time you're not saving money compared to the training course that the vendor provides. I mean, unless you're going for uh, a GI, GIW exam or a uh, uh, or GIAC exam, or if you're going for a uh, uh, blimey, I forgot. Uh, it, essentially, if you're unless you're going for a eight thousand dollar exam, uh, which there are those out there, we've gone over a few of them in the past. Uh, then usually training is going to be around two hundred eighty dollars, three hundred dollars, or maybe a thousand dollars. So we usually want to have our training that we. We provide to you in the lower end range 
subscription pr pl places such as a cloud guru or CBT nuggets. Yes, they are going to be expensive. $60 a month is a little bit pricey, but you're not getting access to just one certification prep like you are with you certify. You're getting access to multiple different training preparation courses. And if you're someone who has a lot of time and you could just knock these out, that $60 is going to take you a long way in your career. Compared to $280 for one practitioner level of certification prep. It's not going to be worth it. But if you're someone who has uh, a boss or a company that's willing to pay for you to take this training, you certify always, always over prepares their students for their exams. So, and this is no exception. The content you get from here overly prepares you for this exam. There's over 70 quizzes, 156 flashcards, over 400, 243 uh, glossary terms and definitions, over eight lessons, over 150 practice exam questions in total, and over 37 performance labs. They overly prepare you to pass this exam. But for that $280 price point, this particular exam is not worth it. Now, if you are going for a associate level certification I, or even a pro professional level certification and you want to pass, I would suggest maybe possibly utilizing you certified just because they do overly prepare you to pass your exam content, just not for this particular exam. But I wanted to add it on here because again, if you're someone who has a company who's willing to pay for you to take this exam, this is the route for you. All right, that's all the cloud training that we have for the CompTIA Cloud Essentials Plus certification prep. If you like this video, be sure to like it to help with the YouTube algorithm so we can get this to show up for more people trying to save money preparing for this exam. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.